This is the site outside of Leon Springs Saturday morning before the park even opened. You can see dozens of cars waiting to get in. Yeah, this comes after word that a beloved restaurant there is closing and being taken over by a new owner. West choose Luana Munoz is here in studio and Luana, they are receiving a huge outpouring of support. Oh, that's absolutely right, Summer. And you can see it right there with those cars. I'm told some mornings there is a four hour wait time for people wanting to go to the old Spanish sugar mill. The state, which now owns the property, says that under the new vendor, people are going to get the same experience as before. But the current vendor says that's not entirely true. <laughs> Loads of people have been showing up day after day to make their own pancakes at the treasured restaurant that's been known as the old Spanish sugar mill in De Leon Springs since the Schwartzy family took it over in 1961. The family sold the company about five years ago to John Michaelis, a man who did everything to keep the restaurant's tradition going strong. The sugar mill, from my perspective, needs a caretaker, somebody that will keep it like it is. John was successful, but since the state owns the property, they have the right to choose a new vendor now that the Schwartzies contract is coming to an end. The state says the experience under the new vendor, Guest Services Incorporated, will remain the same, but Michaelis doesn't think so. It's going to be a brand new company, brand new recipes, brand new employees. It's a whole new company starting up something similar to what we've done. They, they want to look at our model or look at serving pancakes, but it's not the same business. And customers agree. That's why old and even new faces are lining up to get their pancakes before the original recipe serves its last batch. We've been coming here for years and years, and uh, sometimes we're at the restaurant, sometimes we're sitting at the Springs because the restaurant's always on a wait. It's been in a mainstay for here. We've had family reunions out here and stuff like that, so. Well, Michaelis says that he's seeing a lot of new customers. That old sugar mill is going to close officially on September 12th. Summer, back to you.